What's up, Coach? Good morning. How are we doing? Doing good. All right, we'll take questions from Coach Rogers. Coach, just, you know, how are you just feeling now, just kind of a few days removed, you know, after that trip to Kansas City? You know, what have just been some of the big things you guys have been working on this week? Oh, I feel great. You know, I, I, it's early in the season. We've only played six games. It's not time to hit the panic button. Um, Saturday was definitely an eye opener for us. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not glad it happened, but I'm glad it happened in terms of I think we need a wake up call because we've been flirting with that for a couple games. You know, well, like UAPB, we jumped out and we let them go on a run second quarter, NIU, same deal. We end up winning those games, but I knew there would come a time when somebody would put us in a little bit of a hole and it would be hard to come out of it. And that's what happened on Saturday. Um, so hats off to UMKC. I thought they had a great game plan um, and we just weren't ready to go at the beginning of the game. And that's on me as the leader. Um, so obviously we got to be better about that, but not hitting the panic button at all. We had a great film session, had a great practice yesterday. Um, it was good for us to see some, some severe weak points that we have with our offense. So we're really working on that in the half court in practice. Um, but, you know, I kind of had to pick my kids up a little bit and, and that's what it is this time of the year. You know, they're in that tough part of the semester where they're, finals week is coming up and you got games and you got all this. So you have to battle through a little bit of that mental part of it. Um, but this is why we do it. This is why we coach uh, to mentor, to impact, to help our young women. And uh, I feel good about where we are right now. We had a great practice yesterday and, and looking forward to getting back after it today. Coach, I wanted to ask you what you've seen from Louisiana Tech. I know they have, still have another game uh, tomorrow night before they come in here, but uh, just your impressions of them. They're really good. Obviously, you know, a historic program and, and if you look at their um record it doesn't tell you how good they really are they've played a really tough schedule um you know playing vandy and then going to arkansas then come to us they played drake they played texas they've played maine like they've played a lot of really good teams um so they're really good they're big they have a, a big inside that's really good they're going to try to play through her they got some good guards and they're just well coached you know they're going to be super disciplined they're going to be solid in everything they do um, so this, this is a great challenge for us on our home floor. We scheduled these games for a reason because we truly want to be challenged and get better and uh, prepare ourselves for Sunbelt Conference. Coach, you mentioned their, their inside presence for Louisiana Tech. So what does that mean? What kind of game are you going to need from, from Kendra Gillespie? You know, we need a we need a huge game from her. You know, we she went one for nine in in the last game, and she was obviously disappointing herself for that. And you know, we we want more from her. We know she's capable of giving us more, and she will in due time. Um, it's just going to require a little bit more patience from me. Um, just you know, knowing that Kendra didn't play a whole lot at Baylor, so she's almost like a freshman on the floor. Winner didn't play a whole lot at West Virginia. She's almost like a freshman on the floor. I get ahead of myself sometimes because I look at their age and I'm, how much minutes they've played on the floor. Um, so she's going to be fine. Uh, you know, she just got to kind of work through some of that that confidence and and getting back in game rhythm. Um, but we need a good game from from all of our post players because, it's honestly, it's going to take all of us to guard this kid. She's a finesse post player. She could play inside out, shoot it from the mid-range. She can, you know, do a, multiple moves inside the paint. So she's just a really good kid, and, and, and we've really been looking to – try to rotate maybe all four of our bigs this Saturday. We'll see who knows what that looks like and, and what the production looks like in practice. But I think we're going to have to throw a couple of different bigs at her to keep her, you know, from going off. Everybody good? Any other questions? All righty. We'll see y'all Saturday. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach.